kind of take little parts of their game and implement them into mine. And now that I'm a veteran guy, I think just having that role out there makes me feel a lot more comfortable. What was better tonight, just from an overall team standpoint, all the way around, than, than maybe the first two nights? Uh, I just think we're getting in a better flow now. You know, the third time of, for us putting on our jerseys. Uh, people are starting to feel more comfortable. We're getting into our more comfortable rotations. Everyone's starting to understand what to expect each game, what, who's going to play, how the rotations are going to go, and the flow of the game. And I think, you know, all these games have been good. Uh, just because this DePaul game is going to be a, a good challenge for us opening up their new arena. They're going to come out with a lot of emotion. But we're going to lean on our veteran guys who've been in these uh, predicaments before to help help us lead and keep our young guys calm and cool. That means you too. Oh, I brought it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Always. Uh, Rex, I think you guys ended up with like seven steals, six blocks. What, what kept you guys so dialed in on the defensive side? I mean, I, uh, and under, keeping them under 50 points, too. I got to say, it's our uh, attention to detail with uh, the communication and our practice. You know, like in practice now, we, we emphasize playing defense. We emphasize over talking, we emphasize making sure we're in the right places at the right time. And I think it's really coming over into the games now and getting these three exhibitions uh, underway and under our belt to actually practice them in a game like uh, atmosphere with referees and fans and actually a different opponent. It's going to be a huge advantage for us going into the Saturday.